the British press, even after everything, after the years that Harry and Meghan left, like they're even becoming more toxic. It's been a toxic media outlet back in the UK. It's been hell for the years that Harry and Meghan lived there. It's been hectic. It was such a bad experience for them. And hoped by them living, things would change. Because even you, we got to learn that even some members of the royal family what jealous of the attention of the Harry and Meghan get each and every single day and not them. They were jealous of that and the reason being it was always Harry and Meghan on the spotlight. Day in, day out. The toxic media has never stopped. They blamed Duchess Meghan for her living. They blamed Duchess Meghan for almost everything. Whereas the, 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 the one person that they've always wanted to fight so bad is the Duchess of Sussex. I bet they don't even have a problem with Harry. The, the problem that they might have with Harry is because he married a biracial woman. That he decided to leave his country, his motherland, to follow his wife. The problem that they might have is the fact that Harry stood by the truth. Chose his mental health, his well-being, his family, his peace of mind. Like basically that's what Harry was so much highly fighting for. And I always say the Duke of Sussex knew the value or knew what Duchess Meghan had and uh, he was never ready to let her go just like that. When we come to Duchess Meghan, she's that one woman whom I bet everyone admires out here. Her intelligence, her kindness, like everything about her is just on top. Everything about her is just so much amazing. Like, yeah. But they don't see that. Always judging her. Just because she fell in love. Then they thought that the Duchess of Sussex was so much into all this. In the so-called name thing title. But one thing I always say. Titles doesn't define a person. What defines a person is the actions put in place. And Harry and Meghan, day in, day out, have always proved thus to us. Because, you know, the, there has been this whole story of Harry and Meghan that need to be cut off their titles. And I'm like, what if they do so? It still won't affect them. Because basically, Harry and Meghan know what they're doing. And they're not so much into the so-called thing, titles. And that's why they never stopped being themselves, even after stepping down as working royals but still impacting the generation, the society, the world at large positively with whatsoever powers or whatsoever thing they have in them. I love, I love Harry and Meghan and the fact that they don't let any negative narrative kind of distract them from whom they are or kind of just deter their marriage or anything of the sort. It's the amazing beat part of it all. That's the best part. This tells you that these people were, were brought together because of true love. Because if we were to start comparing a William and Kat in this. These are people whom their focus is so much into being in those thrones. Basically, and that's why they've even forgotten that they have a marriage to kind of take care of. They have kids. They don't even have time for one another, if I'm to say how they behave in public. Kind of just tells it all. For Harry and Meghan, they have one thing in common. And that is charisma. The love they have for one another. And for the people out here, not looking at rest, not looking at status quo, literally defines that they are true leaders. It's very hilarious how uh, that all uh, they blamed is placed on a Megan for Prince Harry stepping back from the royal family. 
when in reality majority of the blama is on the toxic british media the journalists and trolls who has dedicated their daily lives to making harry and megan's life hell on earth just looking at the other at situation that harry and megan had to encounter each and every single day would give you the whole reasons to just know why they truly had to leave that place was so much toxic for them the institution the people surrounding them to that point whereby your own brother can just go out and about start licking things that you hoped that were going to remain private like wow that was such a toxic institution and up to date they haven't stopped up to date they haven't gotten tired and the reason as to why they do what they do has never been made clear because i don't know what mistake harry and megan did to ever deserve all this mistreatment to ever deserve all these kind of things that they always do to them but either way it doesn't affect them that's one thing i love megan markle because uh, you know when you start comparing megan to cat huckles you can tell the difference the difference is visible if i'm to say cat is easily controlled but for duchess of sussex like no she knows her worth she knows her value she knows what is expected of her and that's why she can't dare let anyone pull her down just because of creating so-called thing PR for the sake of their own selfish gain. Meghan Markle, who has spent most of her adult life using her voice and platform, supporting, encouraging, and empowering not only women and girls, but others. That's the Duchess Meghan we know. So them putting about this whole blame on her doesn't stop us from acknowledging the person she is. She deserves all these appreciations because she's done way much than what is expected of her, if I'm to say. And that's why I always start this whole statement by saying that Duchess Megan was a whole made person even before meeting the Duke of Sussex. That's where they forget. Because they're always like, that just Megan fell in love with the sake of wanting to be part of the royal family. Like, wait, no. That's such a total lie that's never going to be accept acceptable to some of us. Because we know that's not true. Megan Markle's biggest flaw for the royal family was that she wasn't white. The second flaw was that she wasn't dumb, as Kat Middleton, of course. Megan can carry herself she's intelligent she has real values and she's a hard worker compared to what cat is you can tell the difference and uh, that's what the royal family never expected from her they thought she's just going to be you know that one empty brain of a person that could be easily 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 controlled was modeled to whatever the royal family wanted like he wasn't that person they expected but yeah she is who she is because she knew what she wanted even before meeting harry and megan even before meeting the duke of sussex and that's why nothing can shut her down i love their progress i love what they're doing i love where they're going and where they are at like this couple are just so adorable and amazing for the Duke of Sussex, it's a thumbs up. Just sticking to his wife and family was the best decision ever made. I don't know what's your take on this. Kindly just comment down below. And that was our today's video. And hoping to see you guys in our next video.